how do you get a remote on your diesel eater? This one here only works by remote control, all right? Because they're all different. I'm only going to tell you about the eater, that, well, the two eaters that we purchased. This one is for the camper van. Remote control on that one. Tell you a bit more about this in a minute. This one is the house diesel eater. As you can see, it's already installed. Blowing away merrily, it will be in a minute. So, if we come up here, up to here, just inside here, is the control unit. So, and I'm not going to do it, obviously, because it will mess with it, but I'll show you what to do. You just press the on-off button, which is down there. This little knob you'll turn, which, as I say, I'm not going to do it, because it will mess it up. You'll turn it to F8. Then, you go back inside. You go into the apps. You want Bluetooth. And you can pair up your phone with this heater. So then you're going to be able to lie in bed in the morning on them cold, wintry mornings, all snugly, and from your bed, you can put your heater on. Leave it for like half an hour. By the time you get up, you're snugly and toasty in your house. So, what a great thing, eh? And the reason that we're doing all this, and this has been installed, is basically down to the cost of living and the cost of all of the gas and electric because it's getting that silly that people just can't do it. So we've got people freezing in their houses. This diesel eater is a fraction, a fraction of the cost of central eating. And the other thing is, with this, you put your central eating on. And in the day, you're in and out. And you might be going shopping or messing about in your garden, washing your car, doing whatever you're doing. Think about it. If you've put your central eating on or it's been on all night, on low, and then you turn it up because it's freezing in the morning, you're going in and out and your doors are open all day. So you're actually paying for that central eating gas. And you're just wasting it. It's flying out the door. So, this is what we're doing. No central eating. No. Stop that in the day. You get a diesel eater and you fit it in. And it's so simple. I mean, this has been really simple, the house one. Because we've already got a vent that was for the um, tumble dryer. So, the pipe has gone straight through the wall. Lovely. Fits like a glove. Into there. And this one is going through the kitchen and into the lounge. The lounge is 21 degrees. This is at night. Now, obviously, we've got a bit of sunshine today, which is great. <laughs> That's well, uh, well deserved. Probably the last bit before winter. So, that's the idea. The whole idea of this is, and we can't, we can't tell you technically exactly how much. We can tell you that this diesel eater is going to be at least a third of your price of your central eating bill. So, oh, I've got a puppy here. Look, come over to have a look and listen. Yeah, we've got three dogs. They love it because uh, they sit by the, the one inside and they just blows them off like a blow dryer, especially when we give them a shower. Brilliant. So we got two. House one, just told you about. This one is for the camper van because in the winter, you're sort of stuck inside a bit, you know, unless you've got loads of money and you can go abroad for three months in our winter. We're not doing that. So this one, as I say, it's remote control. Well, that don't matter. So you don't go away all the time. This one's going to be fitted in the camper van. Going to get into that um, on a separate occasion. I've already been through that a bit. I just want to thank, while I'm on here, all the people who've come in. I did ask for help because I've never done all this before. Um, they've been really good. Give me some great tips. Um, on the next video, I'm going to find out all the names and give them a shout. So, yeah, you give me some great stuff to do. So that's the camper van one which over the next few weeks we'll be doing 
going to find a little spot for it, um, obviously in a box. Uh, this is the tank. We are going to try and link it up to our diesel tank on the van because, as you can see, it's not that big and you have to keep filling it up. So we're going to be having a look at that. When we get into it, we'll show you how we link it up to our uh, tank on the van. And then, of course, you've got diesel flowing all the time. Ain't got to worry about going in here and messing with that. A um, couple of things I want to say. Before you start anything, get yourself a monoxide alarm. Very important. And I'll tell you what else we're doing, which I hope you've all thought of it. If you're going to be in a van and you're diesel eater, the other thing that we're going to get, and this is very important, is a fire extinguisher hanging up at arm's reach. Anything goes wrong, God forbid, it doesn't. You've got a fire extinguisher to get yourself out of trouble. So, that's a good tip for you. you probably thought of it already, but maybe not. So, we're off today anyway to Alfred's to buy ourselves a fire extinguisher. Um, awesome. We're looking at the uh, IKEA bed to fit in the van. I think they come out at around... For the three bars, £60, which is pretty good. Um, we just got to work out, because the 350 Transit we got is sort of rounded at the sides. If you've got a flat one, it's great, because you've got to put the brackets on. So we're thinking about packing it out, doing that. That's another video. So we'll, you'll be seeing us soon. Got to clean, give it a good clean first. So uh, that's our next um, stuff we're going to do. Get in there, good vac, good clean, nice smell in there. Um, we're thinking about getting um, a single, because it's got a double seat, obviously, the tranny, a single seat uh, or a captain's seat that swivels. That'd be nice. We can turn around, have a little table popped out, have a cup of coffee and a sandwich. Yeah, as you do. So we're looking at pricing them up. See what that is, because we're trying to keep all this on a budget, obviously, you know. As I say, with the cost of living, you got to... Oh, one more thing I want to say. One more thing before we go off a minute. Yeah, cost of living. And it's a bit political, but the winter fuel payment that they took off some people. I'm hoping that they're looking in and checking out this, because... Obviously, they're going to be down on money. So they may want to think about fitting a diesel eater. Now, if they can't do it themselves, spend a little bit to save a lot and get someone in a professional who knows exactly what they're doing, who can fit you this diesel eater, um, probably put you in a bigger tank so that you, haven't, you can fill it up probably every two weeks. Because, trust me, it's going to save you money. And the last thing we want is you freezing in the winter because the government stopped your money, OK? So have a think about it, as I say. If you haven't got a family member who can do it for you, pay a little bit of money at first to save a lot. Get a professional in because it's got to be safe. They've got to fit in a monoxide meter, everything for you and, and do it properly. So that's just a bit of a tip. Because for people to lose their £500 winter payment is not funny. This, I can't tell you exactly, but put it this way. That tank there, it's only a small tank. We filled that up with diesel and ran this one in the house. has been running for, oh, days. And it's only just come down so we're going to go and get some more fuel stick it in and off we go again it's been days and days and days running away merrily so I hope that's good information for you keep your eye on our channel because we've got some good stuff going on um, the dogs are happy getting the camper van done 
We're going off to Wales in the winter to bogganing on our sledge with all the dogs. See you in the next one.